Good day to everyone. This is your professor next door. At by this time, I'm sure alam nyo na kung saan tayo pupunta ngayon for our Prof. Next Adventures. So dito po tayo sa National Museum of Natural History and let us try to visit their galleries that will display different floras and fauna. So let's check it out. One thing that you will immediately notice dito sa National Museum once you enter is what we call as the Tree of Life. So this has been the most attractive part of the gallery wherein people usually take their uh, pictures and uh, this is one of the most iconic part of the building. Just a little bit of history, the building was originally constructed as the agriculture and commerce building and was designed by Filipino architect Antonio Toledo in the late 1930s. Post-World War II, it was reconstructed after being destroyed by heavy artillery at the tail end of the war. It also served as the office of the Department of Tourism in the 2000s until it was finally decided to utilize the building as a third infrastructure that will house the National Museum of Natural History. So, in May 18, 2018, it was finally opened to the public in line with the celebration of the International Museum Day. What we are seeing right now is not really the actual skull of a dinosaur, but these are the casts that is being used for molding replicas of dinosaur skulls. So it was donated here, pero makikita nyo naman how detailed it was na mukhang uh, totoo talaga. There are a total of 12 galleries here in the National Museum of Natural History but due to time constraint at late na kami dumating ay hindi na namin naikot talaga lahat pero samahan nyo kami na bisitahin pa yung mga naabutan namin dito. Most of the displays na makikita nyo rito are made from animals that were stuffed or underwent the process of what we call as taxidermy so in order to preserve yung mga species ng animals in their collection so they underwent that process that will make the animals look alive pero uh, in reality they are already preserved Siyempre mas gusto natin na makita sila ng buhay but the purpose of this one is to give education sa general public for awareness at para mabigyan na rin ng idea ang mga tao that we need to conserve and protect our environment. In this gallery, it is focused around the underwater marine life at meron silang collection ng mga iba't ibang preserved species ng mga matatagpuan ng mga uh, fishes, crabs, and other animals na nasa ilalim ng dagat. It felt creepy but at the same time, I was amazed on how 
they were able to put up these uh, collections of preserved marine life. In this gallery, makita naman natin dito ang iba't ibang collection naman nila ng mga displays of animals and items na makikita sa wild. To be specific, sa forest ng Pilipinas. Sa part na to mayroon silang ginawa na uh, replica ng isang kweba na mayroong stalactites and stalagmites. Medyo kakaiba lang kasi iba yung amoy dito. It seems like para ka nasa loob ng kweba na may mga paniki. Last but not the least, gusto kong ipakita sa inyo ang remains o ang buto ng pinakamalaking saltwater crocodile na nahuli dito sa Pilipinas, walang iba kundi si Lolong. He measures around 23 feet and 3 inches and weighs around 1,075 kilograms making him the biggest saltwater crocodile ever recorded. So that concludes our visit dito sa National Museum of Natural History. So, pwede niya siyang bisitahin uh, from uh, up until 6pm. I hope kayo may natutunan at nag-enjoy kayo sa pagbisita natin dito sa National Museum. At I encourage everyone na pumunta rin dito because the entrance is free. There's nothing to worry about. This is perfect for museum dates. I am also planning to visit the two other building of the National Museum. So, I hope to see you there guys. So, until then, this is your professor next door, always saying, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day ahead. And see you on our Prof Next Adventures.